Jumbo. Welcome back, Young Parks. We're here the day after the 50th. Still a little tired, still a little sore. Yeah. Uh, but we're at Animal Kingdom, yeah. as you can see by all the foliage behind us. Uh, so, lots of stuff that's new at Animal Kingdom. They have the um, very hilarious Kite Tales show. Yes, I'm very excited. Uh, very for excited that today. to go see that. Um, they have a lot of new food and drinks, of course, for the 50th for the whole resort. Um, and then tonight, obviously, they have the uh, Beacon of Magic uh, that's going to be for uh, Tree of Life. So yeah. that's going to be exciting to look at. So let's do a little jumbo around uh, Animal Kingdom. Woohoo! I like them big. I like them chunky. Chunky, I like them big. I mean, the first thing we're going to do is actually experience Disney's Kite Tales, an all new Sky Celebration daytime fest. Festival. I can't. Fest it's it's a daytime show at Animal Kingdom. You, you'll you'll see. It's great. All right, we're here. They already have some kites going. All I gotta say is buckle up and get ready because if you haven't already seen the videos on social media, we are in for. I don't know if I would say a treat. I would we say are a treat. we are in for something. catch the early announcement they did say due to unforeseen circumstances um, we're gonna have a modified show today uh, and if you look at any of the videos online that is because all the giant kites have been crashing into the audience or the water and they've had jet skis flip and yeah. other things so it is a water-based show yeah. in like a stadium show so that means they have um, entertainers on jet skis with kites it is kind of impressive because like one person is driving the get jet ski and the other one's sitting back on a jet ski like, like manipulating the kite yeah, so, that part's so cool. that's cool which is kind of explains why it's not working because that's probably incredibly difficult to do yeah it's a very small like water area so like it gets really choppy yeah really so fast. because they're like just you know they're on jet skis going around in circles there's a yeah. ton of choppy if you've ever been on you know, a jet wake ski before, afterwards of course it's like yeah. super bumpy how are you exactly. gonna fly a kite um I'm bummed we didn't get to see the whole thing. I Me wasn't, I, I won't lie, I wasn't very excited for that show. It just oh, no, really of course silly. not. It's super it's, silly. I'd rather them take the time to do something. I know you can do better. It feels rushed. It feels rushed, and they're kites. And they're kites. I mean, if you can't get kites right, I mean, they just, it wasn't good. So, so Kelly, what is the new name you came oh, up I, for it? I was like, Kite Tales, more like Kite Boo. <laughs> You know, we keep it honest here. Keep it honest. We just, you know, Disney yeah. Entertainment, y'all. It's not, it's not their they can, fault. They can it's, do better. it's, it's, it's. We the, know whose fault it is. Yeah. 
that's true. Yeah. All right, well, after that, I need a drink. So, let's go to the restaurant, Storage Lounge. Never actually been in there. Yeah. I'm excited. All right, in the lounge, as you see, I already drank some. But the Carnotaurus Meteoris. Um, it is a uh, whiskey sour that's basically um, Jim Bean, uh, black, long aged bourbon, um, a little bit of sweet and sour, and a little bit of strawberry. Uh, and it is essentially strawberry flavored bourbon. This is unbelievably strong because there was a huge pour, and then he did a floater on top. We also saw some very inebriated ladies run in and go, Jamie! So I'm assuming he is a good bartender because, holy crap, <laughs> this is very strong. For $13, good lord. Well, hello, welcome to Africa. Uh, I stopped over in Asia and actually got some chicken fried rice. Just as good as we, when we used to eat it in college, because it used to be like four dollars. Yak and Yeti quick yeah, from the service. Yak and Yeti quick service. It's very, very good. good value for money. Yeah, it's like six dollars and change. Well, nowadays not as good I as guess. it used to be, because it used to be like four bucks. Yeah. Because um, I will say that corn tortoise meteor has hit me like a train. <laughs> I have a pretty good really tolerance. Yeah, I have a pretty good do. tolerance, but that was a I long don't. pour plus a floater of that bourbon and those very strong bourbons. So, uh, we're gonna keep eating a little bit to kind of cushion that. And uh, I'm gonna go uh, get some corn. I think we're all both gonna get some corn Favorite over here in snack. Africa. It's amazing. Corn, still one of the best snacks on property. And also, Kelly got a pickle. You want a pickle? All right, let's uh, proceed now back through Asia, actually, and uh, head over to Expedition Everest. The wait times for attractions right now are unbelievably low. Oh yeah, I really was like a walk around. Yeah, uh, Everest right now is like ten minutes, if even. Yeah. Um, Which will probably take it that long just to walk through the queue. Just walk through so. the queue line, yeah, exactly. Dinosaur is like five minutes, so we're probably gonna hit uh, Everest, then head over to Dinosaur. And uh, can I see where the evening takes us? We're really excited to see the beacon of light, or beacon of magic, rather. Uh, tree of life tonight. It's not be exciting. Mm -hmm. And then maybe I'll come back to drink Walla and get, there's a special Mickey premium bar there. You can only get it there. Time for Expedition Everest. Let's go see the Disco Yeti. Bear? Hey. Well, back in Dino Land. Say our goodbyes to Primeval World. It has begun demolition. Oh, that's sad. People hate on this ride so much, but honestly, we really liked it. Uh, fun fact, it is a common track among various carnivals and fairs. Uh, when we honeymooned in Vienna, in Austria, uh, and went on the Prada wheel, uh, they actually had the identical track on a ride there. Uh, very sad, but yes, it is being torn down, unfortunately. Uh, and if one person comments that they're going to change Dialand into a Zootopia ride, I will delete this channel. He's not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'll do you it. You love Dialand. I do. It's okay. There are others like you somewhere. There's dozens of us. Dozens! Ooh, now time for one of the top three attractions in all of Walt Disney World, Dinosaur. Whoa, that's a big... Uh... Listen, I like dinosaurs, all right? Remember when you hit your head on the sign out front? Oh yeah, that was fun. I'll put a clip in that now. Oh. <laughs> it's only a five minute wait for Countdown to Extinction. That's right, there used to be a Styracosaurus out here. It was Countdown to Extinction. I rode this opening year. Opening year. Fun. Five minutes. Let's get in. I like a lightning lane. It should be an asteroid lane. Uh -huh. It's a box turtle. If you don't follow Joe Rody on Instagram, go follow him. He just did, recently did a really, really cool write-up on their design of the Carnotaurus. It's really interesting. Haha, <laughs> you know that's mayonnaise and ketchup and mustard. <laughs> I love Truly incredible. He's wearing one of the Vault Collection shirts with the Vault Collection mini Mickey ears that Kelly has. Absolutely incredible. I love it. Of dinosaur? 
so fun. Love it. Why do people hate that ride? I don't know. What's is wrong? It, is it what is wrong with people? They people think it's just. Scary? People just think they grow out of dinosaurs and then they don't like dinosaurs anymore. Well, you're wrong, for one. No, I think that I don't. I think that ride just not as popular because it's really scary to people. But it's so fun. Four Nights is popular and that's scary. All right. Well. Anywho, uh, so we're doing the wait, walk up list for um, Nomad Lounge. Forty minutes. It's about five twenty-five now. So we should hopefully get there about six. Uh, the first beacon of magic show is 7:25. It's kind of when they do like the fanfare. 7:25. 7:25. Oh, that's early. Yeah. Oh, I, I think so. Well, I thought you just said. 45. I'll double check. It might be 45. Um, basically, when the sun goes down. Um, so we'll definitely see that. I mean, it, it's it's after that point. It's just on, and then they kind of do a little another fanfare like 8:05 or something. Um, but until then, I think we might just kind of putz around a little bit. Maybe go look at Kilimanjaro Safari yeah. and uh, enjoy the rest of the park at Animal Kingdom. Good lord. It's actually bigger than your head. It's actually really heavy. It's, it looks huge. It is. Like, this well, is wait, hold on. Look at the like five pounds. Wait, wait, look at the calories. 145th of a pop is 60 calories. So what's 45 times 60? I don't know. I'm going to do the math. Fun fact, that is a 2,700 calorie lollipop. If you ate the whole thing. Feed the whole thing, of course. Which would be impressive, Yeah, but... probably take multiple days. Kind of like a jawbreaker, yeah. we kind of have to like put it away for a bit. Yeah. Um, but anyways, it was supposed to be a 40 minute wait, but our table got called for Nomad Lounge. So we're gonna go head over there, have a drink, and uh, get some food. I'm hungry. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to our second favorite lounge in all of Walt Disney World, the Nomad Lounge. Kelly, what you got? Got the five and five, which is a brand new specialty at Nomad Lounge. It's basically like a spicy margarita with tequila, a uh, what, what kind of chili? Anchoreas, Anchoreas uh, chili liqueur. Uh, chili liqueur, pineapple juice, sour mix, and. So you know, lime juice and oh, simple lime. syrup. Sorry, lime and simple syrup, <laughs> not sour. It's okay. Um, but it has like, pineapple with tahini, my fave. It is and it's also, very shimmery. It's also shimmery. Which is fun. I love the color. It's very yummy. Yeah. And what did you get? I got a sangria that I didn't realize was made with um, rosé, but it's very good. Yeah. I like, I like a good sangria every so mm -hmm. often. It's very tasty. Yum. We have some amazing Tiffin spread service. Mm -hmm. um, something about a papadon, um, some kind of lentil, and then a pomegranate something or other focaccia. And then there is um, some kind of pear chutney, a thing, and some red pepper hummus. Yep. We got the impossible hungry. sliders, we're still hungry. Uh, they are impossible sliders with chipotle aioli and some yucca fries. Go for it. Let's see how it is. Will this be better than the impossible slider at Food and Wine? I definitely taste the chipotle. They're not as hot as they can be. Oh, uh -huh. sheesh! All right. Um, Yikes. They're good. They're very flavorful. Okay, good. For all right. Plant-based. Yeah. Slider for sure. Okay. Good. We just got done with Nomad Lounge. We'll talk about it later. Uh, just well, we will talk about it later. Um, slight bit of a time crunch because the wait time to get on a flight of passage is like 10 minutes, basically. So we're gonna jump on that before. We go watch the Beacon of Magic to close out the evening. Yes. So let's go on the ride that Kelly does not want to admit that she doesn't like. Kelly has been saved. It is a 30 minute wait. I don't know why you think I don't like it. It's fine. It's not the greatest, but it's fine. Let's head into the Creature of the Black Lagoon comforts. Get ourselves a 50th cupcake. I gotta pop a mask on. Okay, sitting on the ground. <laughs> As is tradition. As is tradition. We have the 50th anniversary cupcake. It's a lemon chiffon cake Yummy. with a uh, kind of like a lemon filling, I guess, on it and some vanilla and stuff. It, it sounded very good. Disney Food Blog said it was very good. Uh, we're just going to dig into it and let you know we also got some coffees because we're kind of tired. And uh, yeah, so we'll let you know how it is. It's going to be a mess. All right, we got about. Two minutes. Two minutes till the beacon of magic appears. Yeah. 
We got our spot. We ate the cupcake. It was decent. It wasn't anything incredible. What, the lemon? The cupcake, cupcake yeah. Yeah. It was. Mm, I would give the, it a, the problem I is when you get them at Starbucks, they sit in the cold cases and it was yeah. essentially frozen. Yeah. So, so all the frosting like detached. Hard as a rock, cupcake. yeah. Um, but overall, okay. like good flavor. It was good, yeah. I, I appreciate the lemon. Yes. You know, not overly sweet. Sure. And as always, apple crisp macchiato. Delicious.